for a second and just say good morning to everyone all over this nation and that God love you and he is the Lamb of God and he care about you and he'll receive you right where you are. If there's someone that needs to come to Christ this morning, go to somebody church this Sunday and, and even if you don't get to the church, just stretch your hands out right where you are and say, Father, I receive you and I believe that you died on the cross, that you went into a borrowed tomb and you died and the tomb, the stone got rolled away and you came out of that borrowed grave with all power in your hand and you did that for me and that I believe that you'll save me and you'll keep me and you got a home waiting on me above. Now I just thank the Lord for everything that he's done for me today and why don't you try thanking him for everything he's done for you today, yesterday and the day before I thank him for everything he's done for me in my whole entire life. I thank him for my children mostly. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my immediate family. I thank you for my sisters and my brothers brothers and my nieces and nephews, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends. I even thank him for my enemies. He said, you know, Catherine, when you conquer your enemies, you know, that's what makes you look so good because you got the Jesus Christ hobbling over you. You got the Holy Ghost on you, holding on to me, baby. I said, yes, sir, Jesus, I'm not going to turn your garment loose, but your garment is too worthy and it feels too good and I know it's nothing but solid gold of love. God's garment is nothing but love. That's why the woman was healed with the ten is your blood. He said, she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I'd be well. You know, I touched that hem of that garment 30 years ago when I first got sick. And guess what? I'm still holding on to that hem of that garment. So I'm here to tell someone this morning that's just waking up or didn't even go to bed last night that he's there for you and he's not going to leave you. All you got to do is just believe and use your faith, use your faith, use your faith. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. And he's getting ready to heal you. He's getting ready to bless you. He's getting ready to be there with you because all you got to do is call him. Now, like I said, I just had got in from off a long trip, and I love you. I love you, and I want to be with you, and I'll be here on each and every time telling you something about Jesus, telling you something about the Lamb of God. You're my friends. You're my sister, and you're my brothers. I'm Minister Catherine Harrison with, with Women Working for Christ. Come back and listen to me in the morning for I have some scriptures for you. And we're going to talk about those scriptures and we're going to read those scriptures. And we're going to get an understanding about the Lord so we can get on board. Like I said, when I hear that first trumpet sound, I'm getting on board. Are you going to get on board? I'll see you in the morning. Been a pleasure to come in the scene and just say good morning and good night and good morning to you. I love you, my friends. God bless you and God keep you as my prayer. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.